Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Monday, April 17th, 2023. And today I'm going to finally install those rocker arms. I know it's been a while, but you know, I'm doing all kinds of stuff, you guys. I also have to take care of my other stuff. <laughs> right, all the stuff we keep buying and stuff, we have to keep fixing it or throw it away and buy new. But this is my old truck and I need to put some brakes in that truck. And that's what I did uh, uh, this past week. I went ahead and put some brakes and rotors on my truck so you guys can see that I'm not slouching, you know, that I'm actually working and trying to do it. But that's all done. The parts are here now. And here we are with the uh, rocker arms. And this is where we left off in the last videos when we went ahead and measured the compensating element or valve lash, whatever you want to call it. But we measured everything and we found out that I needed to have some thrust washers. So I purchased the thrust washers and they came in the other day and here we are, I'm gonna go ahead and let's get them installed. Well, like I said in my previous video, we measured these, the compensating element height and see what thrust washers we needed. And as you can see here, there's 11 4.75 and then there's a 4.40, possibly a 4.40. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, because I didn't have a 4.4 to test. The only thing I'm gonna need to install the rocker arms is gonna be a 27 millimeter socket. And the reason for this is so I can turn the engine. After every single time we install a rocker arm and thrust washer, I'm gonna verify its height using the go, no go tool. And if everything's cool, then we leave that rocker arm in and I crank the engine over a full turn minimum to make sure that the, when the piston comes up, it doesn't end up hitting your, your valve. That's the whole purpose of this. So in this case, I have the genuine tool to install those rockers. You can purchase an aftermarket. I've heard those cheaper aftermarket ones will work. Sometimes they break when you go to use them. These are really Pretty stiff springs. So here is 11 of these and one of the 4.4. I'm gonna use driven grease, driven assembly loop or grease on all the rocker arms and thrust washers, that whole part, just to make sure because you know we're gonna be turning this thing over and turning it over. We don't wanna scratch anything. All right, let's go move over to the engine. I'm going to start with the number five exhaust and you can see that we went with a 4.75 here and I'm going with that one because as you can see this lobe is pointing up. So I'll be putting this here. This is the 4.75. I measured it so I know it's right. And I'll show you the easiest way to install this. Use, I, I'm gonna use a magnetic holder, right? Then I'm gonna grease with assembly grease onto the bottom of this. And then I can just drop this in, just like that, hold it, and take this out. So there we go. Next, I'll place the tool just like that. And then finally, I will put this rocker arm on there. I've greased those points as well as the other side. So we'll push down and try to slip this up and in. Just like that. Make sure she's in there. You can remove the tool. So now we'll go ahead and measure that. That's it right there, guys. 
So there you go. A nice, perfect height. So now we need to turn the engine over. Always turn it clockwise when you do do this. And then see that cam load coming around. It's You want to feel it, make sure you know you're not hitting anything. There comes the lobe. Didn't hear anything. All right, so that was one completion, one rotation. We went through a complete cycle, so the piston came all the way to the top and our valve was fully open. So, and I made one complete revolution. We know for sure now that uh, that one there has clearance. We're not gonna bend the valve, everything's good. And now I'm gonna move on to the next valve, which in this case is gonna be valve number six, intake. Um, I'm not going to bore you with any more of this. That's basically all I'm doing is I'm greasing the contact points of the rocker arm as well as the thrust washer. And I'm going to repeat everything as it is here. And I'm going to put in the, those, those and just double check each and every one of them. Turn the engine, make sure it's smooth and easy. And then that's basically all there is. And then it'll be time to... Uh, Put on the oiler tubes up on the top, all across here so we can go ahead and get our tube in and just basically close up this top end because then the next thing of course is gonna be the intake manifold. So let me continue with this. And now the final results. Everything stayed the same except for number five here. Um, after I put in a 4.75, you know, it's was borderline. Um, and 5.1, you know, I could see yellow on both sides. So I stuck with the 5.1 there. And then on valve number four, on the exhaust, I ended up with the 4.4. So my guess was right. The 4.4 was perfect for that. Now that I've done that, you can see I've got all the rocker arms in. And if you look closely, you'll see that uh, there's assembly grease I put on the lobe. You know, I made sure everything's nice and clean. I put it all over the lobe. And I've cranked it twice through and kept those lobes lubricated. All right, so now I've done a whole complete cycle all the way through, plus many times on, on all the other valves. But this whole thing's been turned around. And then I went ahead and set it to top dead center. This is my timing mark on the left camshaft, and this is the timing mark on the right side. I was gonna install these oil pipes, you know, that go on the top here, you know, with their little plastic retainers, but I thought maybe I should wait. Um, instead, I wanna get the intake manifold on, so I think that's gonna be the next video. So with that said, that concludes this video, you guys. That's how I, how I did it, how I installed the rockers, how I made sure, like I said, that the measurements were right. And everything is actually coming together quite smoothly. So I hope it continues like this. So in the meantime, you guys, thanks for watching.